सी एस आई आर इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ पेट्रोलियम इन कोलेबोरेशन विद गेल इंडिया लिमिटेड हैथ स्टार्टेड द लेबोरेटरी स्केल रिसर्च वर्क ऑन वेलराइजेशन ऑफ वेस्ट प्लास्टिक्स इन टू थाउजेंड सिक्स द वर्क इन्वॉल्व स्क्रीनिंग एंड डिवेलपमेंट ऑफ कैटलिस्ट एंड प्रोसेस फॉर कन्वर्टिंग वेस्ट प्लास्टिक्स फ्रॉम डिफरेंट सोर्सेज इन टू वैल्यू एडिड प्रोडक्ट्स दिस इज अ पायलट प्लांट फॉर वन टन पर डे पायलट प्लांट फॉर कन्वर्जन ऑफ वेस्ट प्लास्टिक टू डीजल for the, for development of this technology we have started the work uh, 2008 uh, f, uh, in live scale the capacity in the live scale was around 300 g and after that we have uh, developed a bench scale unit the capacity was around uh, 3 kg to 5 kg and then from a, this this was the batch mode operation and after that we have we have modified it in continuous one that is 10 kg per day capacity CSIR IIP has been successful in developing a novel process by which polyolefinic waste plastics like polyethylene and polypropylene can be converted exclusively into any of the products namely gasoline or diesel or aromatics along with simultaneous production of liquefied petroleum gas LPG So at IIP uh, we have been working along with Gale India Limited to develop a process by which we can use these plastics so we have developed a process which is basically a thermocatalytic conversion you know polymers are very plastics are polymers which have a large molecular weight molecules the process breaks the molecules into smaller particles and then we have a catalyst that changes the composition to get the molecules which can be transformed into either gasoline or diesel or aromatics so for typically for 1 kg of plastics we can get about 700 ml of gasoline or Uh, alternatively we can get about 800 ml of diesel and a third product that is possible is uh, 4 to 500 ml of aromatics which are raw materials for petrochemicals now this uh, gasoline diesel can be used for automotive applications also the process comprises of pyrolysis followed by catalytic conversion and subsequent condensation and fractionation to get the desired liquid hydrocarbons Pyrolysis is the thermal decomposition of materials at elevated temperatures in an inert atmosphere. It involves a change of chemical composition. The process has the potential to solve the problem of plastics of waste plastics disposal in an economical and environment friendly way. It can augment the supply of fuel and chemicals. The plant based on this process can be set up at various capacities ranging from 1 TPD to larger scale. We have provided services. We have done the distillation. Whatever the pyrolysis oil is they are producing, we are doing the distillation following the HTM standards. And then what is the quality of the product and what uh, what are the amount of the the fuels which is produced by that process? we are ensuring that and we are quantifying then and also the uh, quality parameters we are testing as per the diesel specifications i uh, suppose we are producing gasoline then we are following the gasoline standards so that is the main actually support which we are providing to this uh, this ambitious project of iab the process after being developed at the laboratory scale has been successfully revalidated at the continuous bench scale unit 8 to 10 kg per day and 1 ton per day demo plant has been set up along with gale india limited at dehradun the plant has been commissioned on 27th august 2019 and technology is expected to be ready for commercialization by the end of 2020 The IIP sensitization and awareness program running for waste segregation on the campus includes construction of manual composting pits. As part of the Eco Campus Drive, a zero waste initiative has been undertaken. So we started in a small way in Dehradun. Right now, along with our partners, SDC Foundation, which is an NGO, we are able to collect more than a thousand kilos a day. of waste plastic from dune city that's about 5% of the city's daily plastic accumulation and we are able to convert that into diesel and the same plant can also convert that into petrol or into other chemicals so in a small way we are able to show that a prototype plant 
is able to remove the waste plastic of a city. And we are constantly encouraging people to reduce, reuse, and recycle. On our own campus, we strongly discourage and almost don't have any reusable water bottles. We discourage single-use plastics.